KWI Networks provides wireless high-speed internet to your home, but in order to have wireless internet throughout your home, you will need a wireless router. This video will walk you through a few steps to personalize your router, secure it, and help you get the most efficiency out of it. Wireless routers operate on various channels through the air. Most routers come with default channels and passwords that they are set up for. It's important to know how to change channels in your router to avoid interference from others who may be using the same channel as you. Trying to use the same channel as a neighbor or someone close can cause your internet data to be slow. We will be showing you how to access your router and find and change the channel your router is using so that you can get peak performance. We will also show you how to secure your router so that your network as well as the data stored on your network cannot be accessed or tampered with. Some iPads, iPods, or cell phones have free applications that help you see your wireless connection. In this first illustration, you see a picture of what a Wi-Fi analyzer might see. Note how the first two carriers have other users on the same channels, but there are vacant channels on the higher end of the spectrum. The wireless router we will be using in this video is the Buffalo WHR-HPGN. We have found this router to be efficient in delivering all of your home networking needs, such as streaming Netflix, using your iPad, iPod, laptop, or any other wireless device suited for this configuration. So let's begin. Before you take any steps featured in this video, make sure your computer is connected via an Ethernet cable to your router. Do not try this over wireless. First, open your favorite web browser. We're using Firefox for this demonstration. Go ahead and locate your address bar, clear out what is in it, and type 192.168.11.1. Don't include any www's in front of it. Just those numbers will do. Then hit enter on your keyboard. You'll be greeted with a screen that looks like this one. It's asking you to set a username and password for the router. Go ahead and clear out the field for username and input whatever you'd like. Then we'll need to clear out the password field and type in what we want the password for the router to be. And we'll need to do it again in the configuration field below. Be sure to write down this information because we'll be asked by the router for this later. This is our basic information screen in the upper right hand corner. You'll see administration and status. Click on status and you'll be prompted for that username and password we just created. Go ahead and input that in now and click OK. Up at the top beneath the main options you'll see router, WAN, WAN, LAN, LAN, wireless, bandwidth, and system info. Click on wireless in that subgroup. Here we see basic information about the current wireless setup. At the bottom of the page, we'll see two buttons. Click Site Survey, and a view of the wireless networks visible in your area will pop up. It may be more or less populated as this, but what we're doing here is trying to take an inventory of the networks and what channels they're on. We want to pick the channel number that has the least number of uses. So it looks like here, channels 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, and 8 are unused. So we'll pick one of those later. Make notes of what channel is either empty or the least used. Now click on the wireless button at the top left next to setup. You'll see the page reload and new options appear. Click the drop-down for wireless channel and you'll see 1 through 11 show up as options. Go ahead and select the channel that is empty or least used. Then beneath that in the SSID field, clear out what's in there and type a new name for your network. That's the name your network will broadcast. Then click save at the bottom. Now click the wireless security button next to basic settings. Click unmask to show the characters for your security key. This is a passphrase required to access your network. Clear out what's in there and type whatever you would like for your security phrase to be. Keep in mind it is case sensitive. Click save 
then apply settings. Once the pop-up disappears, we're done. Your network is now secure. Now go ahead and click the status button in the upper right hand corner to verify settings. Click the wireless button in the subcategory again to view our wireless settings. You'll see your network SSID has changed and the channel is 3. Remember the SSID is the name of the wireless network you or your guests will connect to. Also, make sure you write down the passphrase and put it in a secure place in case you forget it. Remember, our tech support is always ready to help, so if you need further assistance, give AWI Networks a call. Check out our support tab and contact information on our website at awinetworks.com. AWI Networks, connecting your world. Call AWI Networks today at 866-674-0320 or visit awinetworks.com. AWI Networks, connecting your world.